Hi everyone, this is Tangent, and welcome back to another episode of Responding to Comments. Today we have the second episode, so this is basically I respond to comments on my videos, and I had a couple questions for y'all. We had some interesting ones, such as Sunshine 2 or Galaxy 3. So let's get in to this first one here. Again, thank you for all the support that's been getting on the channel, kind of the reboot I've been doing. Also, I have some music playing. It's the Good Egg Galaxy theme from Mario Galaxy 1 one of my favorite games of all time so let me know how it is it's shown up well for me but you never know with obs sometimes okay so xx shot viper said three yeah I, I, it, a lot of people um said actually three well, let's keep a tally because i was kind of looking at these throughout the week so one for three super mario galaxy 3 comes first because galaxy 2 was way too long sunshine wasn't abused much enough <laughs> all right Sounds like that's, that's funny. Two. Okay, so we have one for each. I would make the company do both. I wish. Yeah, same. I I could see it happening. Nintendo knows that people love the 3D Mario games. Like, they kind of know that. The 3D Mario All-Stars. Um, you know, they were very much playing to that. So, yeah. I could honestly see Nintendo doing this. They know their fan base well. So yeah, and I think it would be a good interest for them in terms of money, in terms of success with, a lot of people would love it, you know? So yeah, I, I could see Nintendo, like when they made Mario Odyssey, that was a true 3D game. So they have gone back there. So I wouldn't count it out of the picture. Okay, why Wii U? Um, because the images I used were from the Wii U. There was no ones on the Switch. The images i used were for the wii u um but the games would be on switch there a lot of people thought these games were coming to the wii u back in the day like there was a lot of heavy rumors with that the wii u days were fun as a nintendo fan was it as great as the wii no but was it still very fun yeah i, I still enjoyed it a, a good amount so yeah Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, so this person mentions Mario 64 2. Yes, I have heard of that game. Um, Nathaniel Bandy, very popular. Nintendo YouTuber, I believe, has played it. Uh, seems very cool. I like Mario 64. So, yeah, sequel would be great for that game. I think, you know, um, a lot of the reasons people don't talk about is because we got the DS remake, which is kind of a sequel. I mean, we got some new levels, some new characters. But, yeah, sequel would be very fun. Um... I have heard that game. It would be fun if we had a Mario 64 sequel. I picked Sonic Unleashed, so this guy's probably kind of joking here, but very underrated game. Very underrated game. I love Sonic Unleashed. Yes, that's a that's a really good game. That's a really good game. I, I love it. Ah, uh, that's a very... The Warhawk stuff works out very well with Sonic. So, yeah. So, let's see. We have one for Mario Galaxy 3. Two for Mario Galaxy 3. One for Sunshine 2. One for both. So, people want Galaxy 3 a bit more than Sunshine 2, which is interesting. I think Super Mario Galaxy is a bit more nostalgic. Um... I know some people don't love what, uh, Sunshine as much as I do because the blue coins are very annoying. Some of the levels, like the pinball machine type of level, I uh, totally get that. And I feel like more people have come around to Flood, but not really a whole ton to still love the idea. So honestly, I could see that. Personally for me, and I said this in a short very briefly, but I will love Sunshine too. I think graphics wise, it could be amazing. and. We, I don't know if there's not, I don't know going into Galaxy 3 what they could add. I think with Sunshine 2, you could add more islands, more characters, there's more to do. And we've already had a sequel to Galaxy. So I think Sunshine, there's a lot of stuff to incorporate. More of the big open worlds going into that, create a boss fights. And we've seen kind of hints of it. There's, you know, that one world in Mario Odyssey, one of the kingdoms that was like Sunshine and Splatoon. Uh, had some Sunshine nods to it. So I could see, and I think... There's a lot more to explore with that game. I think the audience, people group on the GameCube, they're at that age now where they would buy the game a lot. So, 
I think Sunshine 2 would be my pick. Um, but yeah, both games would be awesome. If we had Galaxy 3, I'd buy a day one as I would with Sunshine 2. Okay. Cool stuff. Alrighty, let's see. So a lot of people got this, um, got MC Blue. That is very cool. Okay, so who should voice Funky Kong? Uh, only two comments here on this one. But let's see. You. Alrighty, thank you. I take that. As a compliment, Jim Carrey, I like that choice a lot. Jim Carrey, very goofy in his roles, um, could exaggerate well. So yeah, that, that's a great choice. Great choice. He very much has the range for it. Um, yeah, Jim, I, I hope Jim Carrey doesn't retire. I loved him in Sonic 2. I thought he was very good in that movie. I love Sonic 2, um, so, yeah. Alrighty, should he return? Any? I don't believe there's any comments, yeah. Um, none here from Akinator. By the way, I was trying to upload a video and it didn't work out, so I have to re-upload that, so that's why um, all these were kind of tied to that video. Okay, so we got the Koopaling stuff now. I don't know if anybody said what was their favorite. Yeah, no one said that, but we got a couple for the Create a Koopling, which I like these interaction things. I always like to have an interactive audience space with my videos because I think that's important to create a good channel. A lot of the people I've subscribed to on YouTube have interacted with their viewers before, and I think that just gives them a personality and helps them kind of expand it. So that's something I try to do here. If there's a Wendy Cooper, you know, Ronald Cooper, what's up, Iron? I <laughs> love that. Of course, a pun on Wendy. Wendy's the restaurant. Ronald McDonald's. Pretty good pun. Um, well, I want to know what y'all think of Wendy's and McDonald's. Personally, I think McDonald's is, like, fine. I know a lot of people, like, hate it. Like, it's the worst. I think it's solid. It's well-priced. I do love Wendy's a good amount. I think Wendy's... It's very underrated. I love their Frosties and things of that nature. Um, Sup, Ikeem, what did he say? For me, Kublin, it may be a villain turned ally tomorrow after Mr. Treatment from Bowser Bowser Jr. who would have a blue shell with spikes instead of the common green with spikes, like the other Kublins and have blue spiky downward hair. Okay, so it's kind of like, kind of like Larry? But with like a downward, ooh, I, I like that a lot actually. Because like Larry and Ludwig have blue colors, but this one's different because Larry's hair is puffy and Ludwig is kind of out. So having it down would be cool. I like that even out. I think you could definitely play into that. And one thing I mentioned in the Koopling videos was definitely fleshing it out more with the Kooplings. I would love like a TV show about them. I think that would be very intriguing. So yeah, I love that idea. There we go. Okay, and we have Nabbit Master. Very underrated character. If I if I if I had to say so myself, love Nabbit and New Super Luigi U. But I have a Koopling named Squirt. He is in the water world. He'd be the height of Iggy and the width of Junior. He also loves water and water guns. I like that. I like the water specific Koopa. Love that. Like the idea of a water specific Koopa. Alrighty, I think I'll do it for today's video, everyone. I don't think there's any more comments. Let's just double check. Um, a lot of people got MC Baloo here. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Mario character never came to a Mario game again. Happy and Bowser Jr. MC Baloo, sub Flaming Kong, sub Iron. That's funny. <laughs> the face palm emoji. Alright. <laughs> okay, I was going to say that. Alright. Um, let's continue here. That, okay, that was interesting. Did anyone say to this? Um, no. Um, I think that's it. I think that is it. Um, also in the future, I am going to review comments because comments like this are just not acceptable. Um, for the channel, you know, I try to be very inclusive, so, you know, I am going to have to remove that channel. I'm fine with the facepalm, that's fine, but I would prefer it if y'all, you know, just kept things very nice, you know. 
that's what I try to do. So, you know, if you keep posting offensive stuff, I'll ban it and remove it. I have no issue. Um, even on streams, whenever it may be. If you watch every video, like every video of mine, subscribe. But if you also post offensive stuff, I'm going to ban you. Because ultimately, a positive environment is more important for me than people, you know, than likes and stuff. Just want to clarify that. So, no tolerance for that, please, on my channel. I get it, you may be trying to be funny. However, not really funny at all. So just want to make that clear um i know this is the internet it's not going to be perfect but just wanted to clarify that going forward anyways really liked these responses everyone um oh there was another one too i got today before recording it was the morning galaxy 3 and someone said sky station to bring it back that would be really cool um that was from mario galaxy 2 just told this up super mario galaxy Sky Station. Um, very fun galaxy. Kind of had this like mix of grassland, mix of skyland vibes. Very cool um, galaxy. One of my favorites, especially with Pee Wee Piranha. So that'll do it, everyone. Thank you all so much for the comments and the continued support of the channel. It's been a lot of fun to do. Until then, take care, everyone, and bye bye.